Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars to row. So not meditating on the energy, we're just going to dive in together and see what spirit would like you guys to know. We have the Eight of Wands. Something is gaining momentum. Something is picking up speed. Like, I feel like there's some kind of breakthrough that is approaching you. And it involves, like, you being able to let go of something. We have Princess of Swords. And then we have Nine of Wands. And then Seven of Swords. So you, you may have had to um, spend quite... A considerable amount of time looking out for your own back watching out for yourself um, maybe you've had someone around you that had ill intentions that were trying to gain or sneak up or take something from you hurt you it, it seems like this is someone that already did something to you in the past um, they already did something in the past to you to hurt you and now some time has um, passed since then, and this individual is still around in your energy, still around you. You've had to kind of look out for yourself, be on guard, be aware of this individual, um, kind of like be aware of things that you normally wouldn't have to really even think about, and you shouldn't have to, and it's sad that you even had to live your life that way because there was someone else trying to attack you in some kind of way. But I feel like this cycle is coming to an end. We have the Two of Swords coming out here. And we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So an Earth sign could be involved. That could be you. That could be them. Or this could be a matter of money. Or this could be a matter of um, family. Either way, something is coming to an end. Um, it, it really feels like... This cycle is getting like a trifecta ending to it. Like, you know how like a cycle can end, but like the pattern can still reemerge elsewhere in a different scenario. Yeah, this ain't going to happen. Um, this pattern's not going to be allowed to reemerge. Yeah, the moon. All right. So something was hidden. Something was um, thought to have been unseen. Behind the shadows, right? Yeah, no. Um, something is no longer... Oh, this could be um, concerning a water sign feminine. There may be something that she was involved in in the past and that is now being like discussed. I feel like there was some kind of information that was brought to someone else's attention and now they're looking more into a situation. This could have to do with like some kind of like um, whether this be like a, a university or some kind of like organization or a business. Some kind of company. Justice. Yeah, there's some kind of justice taking place for this. So I don't know if like someone was um, like committing some kind of like embezzlement or fraud or if they were like moving switching accounts moving numbers taking shit like i don't know there's some weird like switch you know that game where there's like three coconut shells and there's one ball underneath one of the three shells and they move around you got to pay attention and see which one is the one that has the ball underneath it it's like someone's been trying to like switch shit around real quick like pull a fast one so no one would notice I don't know. This is almost like someone presenting a document to someone that needs to get signed. And the first document they send is the original. It's the correct one. It's the one that has the right information. Um, and then real quick, when the person looks away and they're getting ready to sign, they swap it out. So when the person turns back around to sign the paper, 
they think they just signed one thing, but they swapped it out with some, I don't know. There's some weird shady energy with this. Like someone was really trying to pull a fast one. I do feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with like corporation or this has to do with business. If it's not corporation, if it's not business, if it's not like an entity, then what I'm sensing in your situation is that it involves a lot of technology. So it involves like servers, accounts, wiring, um, browsers like I, I don't know all of that like data packets and uh like rerouting shit so it can't be traced i, I don't know there's some, some weird shit but there's an ending coming because yeah someone's asking about where this money went or what this money is someone may be like discovering money that they're trying to figure out whose it is and how it got there because it doesn't make sense that there's even money in this place this could be also someone seeing like um assets being taken from one account and being funneled into another account that was like hidden within the business under like aliases names and stuff i'm seeing like a list of like numbers and like the thing beside it keeps changing and this person is looking at it and they're seeing something that doesn't make sense to them. And here's that earth sign energy. So I, I this earth sign masculine energy and a feminine water energy may be prevalent in this. There may have been some kind of like fraud or some like embezzlement or like wiring fraud something weird something with money something with like um adultering like um editing of doctoring of fraudulent like it this feels like a ruse like a scheme like someone was trying to like pull a fast one real quick I don't know, but it, it didn't work out. Yeah, they're not happy about this. They're not happy that this is being exposed. Um, They're actually entering like a really dark time. And it's about to get even darker for them. Like maybe they were living high and large. It's almost like, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what your lifestyle has been or what you have seen or lived in life. But it's like if. If you've ever had like a, a homeboy or a friend that all of a sudden starts doing real well and starts flashing and showing off money and you're like, come on, man, like something can't be right. Like, you know, not all good money, not all money is good money, but they're happy and they're confident and they're living it up, soaking in this lavish life. And then, you know, they get shot or they, they get arrested or they catch charges or like some kind of tragedy happens. And it, it's just like, I don't know, it, it, it's similar to this. It's like someone was high off themselves, high off of getting a quick fix, a, a cheap win, a, you know, a, a backdoor strategy to success without having to put in the work, without having to do the things the right way. And they were real confident and happy and like elated with this. And then... Oh, yeah, uh, joke's over, party's over, guys, it's all on tape, yep, you can go ahead, call your lawyers, it doesn't matter, we got it all on film, you may as well start writing down your immediate contact phone numbers on your arm and permanent marker right now, so you can remember some of those phone calls in case you need to use one with your free phone call here, um, like, someone's caught caught, like, this is, it's bad. They can't talk themselves out of this. It's like, what do you mean you didn't do it? I'm sitting here watching on my screen. You do it. <laughs> like, I don't know. Someone like, I'm kind of feeling like someone's going to like get questioned at first. And they're, they're going to like kind of look side to side and start getting uneasy by the questions. And their first response is going to be a lie. But the person that's asking, and I'm picking up this, is this is like this feminine energy, this water sign feminine energy. Um, her first response may be to lie. But the person who's questioning her did not show their hand. They did not reveal what they knew. They didn't even ask the best question yet. They just started to kind like 
kindly, lightly talk around the area, and the person already started freaking out and started telling on themselves, trying to lie. And then the person, like, looked down and was like, oh, really? You were where? Doing what? Oh, so my camera does not clearly state that at this date and this time, you were logging in on this computer using these credentials, and you weren't viewing on these accounts and moving, like, I don't know, someone's, like, caught, like, bad. It's it's almost kind of comical. Like, it's funny. Um, <laughs> my gosh. All right. What else? So someone thought they were getting away with something. There was something fraudulent, something sketchy, some kind of, like, switch up that took place. Like, forging or swapping of information or documents. Prince of Swords Reverse, Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups, The Knight. Yikes. Oh, man. These individuals that were involved in whatever this scheme is, this like little Ponzi scheme or this ruse or this scam or this theft, whatever, this fraud, this embezzlement, whatever the fuck these people were doing. Because I feel like it's a couple people that were, like, it was like a close-knit circle of, like, there's a two main ones, and then it probably extends to another major three, making a total of, like, four or five. Um, yeah. It's like, when they get this information, it's like, oh my, so, like, before they're all happy and giddy, like, yeah, we're gonna go out and celebrate tonight, and then they... They uh they get some kind of information and someone is showing them something on their phone and it's like, hey yo, is this you? And and they're like, oh my god. It's like the information they're about to receive is gonna steal the happiness right from their soul. It's gonna snatch every moment. I don't know if you've ever like if when you were a kid or something, you snuck out the house and you were having the best time of your life. And then you get that phone call. And then, like, your whole world ends. Your stomach hits the bottom of the floor. It's like the devastation. Like, oh, no. Mom knows. <laughs> this, is, this is what they're going through. This person is about to lose it. Um, whatever they're so happy about now, they're not going to be happy about it. This The truth is going to steal their happiness. That's kind of sad. That the truth can steal someone's happiness. <sighs> Alright, what else? Hierophant. Yeah, this is legal action. This is just. This is divine order. This is also your wish fulfillment. And for a lot of you, the these individuals that are about to experience this exposure, this backfire, this devastation, like, blow. Like, a whole turn of events. They think that they are still going to Bonnie and Clyde this shit out for another five years. They don't realize their grave has already been dug. Um, <laughs> these individuals may have also been directly targeting and attacking you. They may have been involved in illegal activities to try to surveillance you or harm you, keep tabs on you. Um, pick like I, I don't know. This feels like organized it feels like there was an organization of people coming against you for whatever fucking reason i don't know what you got involved in i don't know what they're involved in all i know is you're getting justice for something and you're showing up as empress so i don't feel like you did any dirt and you did anything wrong i feel like you're just um they thought you were gonna be a, a victim to their schemes their plots like, maybe they do this all the time. They they pick them out, like, fresh and young and harvest their soul and steal their bank account information. Like, I don't, I don't know. It feels weird. It feels gross. It feels yucky. Like, I, I don't even want to be near their energy. They're grimy. Um, real nasty individuals. And I feel like they've been trying to sabotage. They've been trying to hurt you. For a lot of you, they've been committing actual fucking crimes against you. And enough's enough, this is, has to stop. And part of this um, protection that you have around you is going to manifest in these people getting locked up for other reasons. Like, so for example, let's say someone got away with something that they weren't supposed to. And they think they got away with it. 
but then they randomly get pulled over on something stupid. And then they catch a bunch of charges on something completely unexpected. It was something random. It was wild. It doesn't even make sense. It's kind of confusing how it even happened. That's that karma. You're No one's going to escape anything. These individuals thought they were getting away with something. They were terribly wrong. Oh, it's embarrassing. It's painful how wrong they were. How caught they are. The, like, the look on this feminine's face. And honestly, the... The Earth Sun energy I'm picking up on. He's like he's like got this weird like, ah, uh, you know that child that can't fucking lie, so they just get loud and start yelling, and then like diverting and looking side to side and just getting louder and louder, trying to like overwhelm the situation with their boisterous, obnoxious, childish ass, and they're trying to like divert and well, and like divert attention over there and point finger over here and whoa, could it have been me because that's that's what that earth sign masculine energy is kind of on. He's on that real, like, not going to take accountability, not going to be a man about it, not going to step up, not going to tell the truth, not going to be able to face the truth or the consequences. No one's going to fess up, but they don't have to because, like, what I'm getting is the evidence that is found on them is so freaking clear. Like, the fact that these people would really look anyone in the eyes and say anything besides you're right, I'm caught, this is what I did, and fess up the truth is an insult to anyone's intelligence. And it makes them look crazy. It makes them look batshit crazy that they are really stupid enough to even after being caught on film to still deny it. It's insane. And that's how people are going to look at these individuals before they might have seen them as someone that had stature, someone that had status, that had wealth, that had some kind of like pull. I'm picking up like um, maybe they had an influence, maybe they had a big a circle, um, maybe they were head of a department or something. People looked up to them, people thought highly of them, people thought they were accomplished gentle folks, right? But didn't realize they were behind the scenes robbing people, gang stalking them. For off a lot of you, this goes even to the occult shit, like some weird dark shit going on. Because I'm picking up on some real nasty timelines for some of you, unfortunately. It's just like, they, they're fucked. They're really fucked. And this is good. This is your wish fulfillment. They kept trying to come after you. Trying to steal, harvest, take, hurt. You're still getting your wish fulfillment. They're the ones that are experiencing the endings. Sure. They might have experienced the illusion of making you their victim. They might have experienced the illusion of getting away with it. But the only victim here is themselves. They're the victim to their own damn karma. And it's their fault and it's their time to pay. Meanwhile, you're just a soldier. You stuck it out. You let on the illusion, the ruse. Because part of the game is to let them think they won. Let the karmics think that being karmic will win. So that way when the karma hits, it stings just a little bit more. It really sets the tone. So play along. Then it's kind of like, you know, oh, I'm so helpless. Oh, you're right. I'm so outmatched. How could I ever take down this whole army of millionaires or politicians or suits or desk jockeys or whatever the fuck this is you just you let them think their little delusion that they had power that they had authority that they had to say so that they were of any relevance to you and your path because you guys are clearly operating on different system they're on here's so on some like take and destroy harvest sacrifice kind of shit and then you're over here trying to like heal, elevate, serve humanity, raise the collective, always looking to God with everything. So like, how the fuck did they thought that was going to clash? Not well. Because their whole presence and grounds can't stand in your presence because your presence is with our father. So this shit's not going to work on you. They might experience a temporary illusion that they were able to one-up you. That they were able to take from you. They were able to hurt you. Stop you. It's an illusion. It's a distraction. 
it's also a double stone, right? So it's to serve a purpose with them, but it's also to serve a purpose with you. How faithful are you? How strong are you? Are you nearsighted? Or can you see the whole picture? Are you humble? You understood the lesson. These people did not. Now it's all fair game. That's really what I'm getting. It's fair game. Oh, despair. I'm so sad. Oh, no. Not the thieving, fraudulent, death jockey. Like, I don't even have a word for these people. It's weird. Like, the shit that their energy is weird. False person is going to... Courthouse, they're in despair about this. This main female expectation over some great fortune and it's bad health and child. What the fuck? So for some of you, this is family. For others of you, this is like business or this is like some kind of like entity, like a group, an organization, like a business, a company or something. But someone is caught, caught. Clear as day. It's unarguable it's undeniable it's being exposed this person is a fish in the barrel at this point <laughs> they're just the fish in the barrel oh my goodness all right i'm going to leave this here if you like the way that i read please be sure to like share comment subscribe i greatly appreciate every single one of you and i will see you on the next collective message